Hey guys, welcome to this new lesson. Are you ready for the first exercise? Well, what we are going to do here is simulate the liquid running down the stairs. Okay? I've added some obstacles in the stairs and I'll provide you this model so that you don't waste, waste time creating it, okay? You may think it's an easy exercise, but don't judge a book by its cover. Although it's a good example, though. Guys, we'll try to do something similar to this animation you can see on the screen. The liquid runs down the stairs. We're going to add a physical sky to the scene, which is already here, and set the render settings according to what we want to obtain. Bear in mind that depending on the video, it will be rendered faster or slower. So this is what we want to get, and this is the stars. Let's start by simulating the liquid with a sphere. Don't forget to uncheck display icon within the display tab. After creating the scene, the scene tree is automatically generated containing the different elements. Okay. Okay, let's insert the emitter, this time a circle, and put it at the top of the stairs, here more or less. I stretch the circle a little bit until getting this oval shape, and then make it smaller. Perfect. You'll need to play around and try different things when simulating a liquid. In this case, I'm going to sum up all the process, although you can try all the times you want, okay? The next step will be applying a tag to the stirs to avoid the liquid going through them. So, right-click on the stirs in the, in the scene tree, okay, right click, go to real flow tags and select a collider tag. Great. Then hit play. As you can see, this liquid collides with the stirs now. After that, we need to apply gravity. To do so, go to the menu at the top and select the demon gravity. And now the liquid flows out with gravity. See, it flows uh, downward. At this point, it would, we could activate the measure, but I'm going to work with the simulation without activating it because it slows down the computer considerably. So I'm going to leave it enabled now, okay? Well, as you can see, the liquid is running down. So let's go to the emitter and start adjusting the, the effect. So you know, we're going to use the volume parameter to create a defined volume of particles instead of a continuous flow. That's why I'm going to set it at zero the speed is set at 200 by default. Guys, we're going to maintain many default values to ease the task. Here we find these two parameters to alter the flow randomness. Let's increase it a little bit. Have a look, a look at the randomness. If we reduce the these two parameters to zero, particles don't flow out randomly. See? So, we are going to increase it a little bit. Okay, see the difference? Now they are random, they flow out randomly. Great. Now we are going to apply a demon gravity to optimize the scene. The best way to do it is insert a demon K volume to avoid the liquid going through the box. In this case, we are going to scale the box down to adjust it to the stairs shape. Okay, something like that. Make sure the box is at a distance similar to the example on the screen, okay? Okay. 
Now we are going to make it wider as well. Like that. Okay, I think it's fine. Let's check it this out. The box avoids the liquid flows out it and thus it disappears when it reaches the box. Remember that we can change the shape and inverted effect here in the fall off tab, among other options, okay? Guys, make sure you save the scene from time to time and after saving it, just keep working. Um, well, I'm going to hide this effect to make it invisible and then I'm going to start analyzing what happens. Here the liquid flows over the sides, but here in the middle it collides and stops. In order to solve that, we need to insert a volume tag. Okay, there it goes. And then in the volumes property panel, uncheck the auto check box of the cell size parameter. Reduce the cell size to five. Guys, a lower value will cause us some trouble. Um, after starting the animation, we can see that the liquid also flows between the two obstacles. You can try out different settings by tweaking the parameters in the panel on the right. This option is great for reducing the liquid's density. Obviously, all these characteristics ca can be also modified with the measure when we activate it and also with the fluids parameters. Let's start working with the measure to check the simulation. To visualize the animation, it's necessary to cache the simulation. Remember so, go to cache and click on cache simulation. Uh, guys, you also need to control the number of frames. Okay, and this is the animation. To prevent these holes from appearing, uh, we could add a demon sheeter to the scene tree, which fills the holes, remember? Go back again to the cache and remove uh, the one we did previously. After activating the shitter, the holes are gone and the liquid is more real. We can modify the different parameters, although I recommend that you keep, it, keep the default settings for the moment. Once you finish the exercise, you could spend some tra time trying out each parameter and exploring which effects they cause. Okay? Well, I think the simulation is quite good and the liquid doesn't go through the stairs and it also runs down here in the middle. Okay. But still we need to increase the number of frames. So set this value to 150, okay? There's still something missing. Go to the scene tree and click on the meter and animate it slightly. To animate it, let's set here the zero keyframe. Then, okay, we are going to set here the keyframe and then we are going to the coordinates tab and adjust the keyframe. Move the time indicator up to the 35 keyframe. Okay. 
and then the object moves to the other side. You can animate it as you want. Okay, so this is my animation from this point to this other one, and then it com comes back to the starting point. Another thing we can do is animate the flow and stop the animation at a certain point. Go to the Emission tab, click on Speed, and reduce the velocity from the keyframe 80 to the 100 in order to stop the emission. Well, let's see if we can add any other effect. I think the demon noise would be a good one to enhance the scene. Select it and go to noise, noise fields panel. Increase the strength panel up to 260 more or less. And let's have a look at the animation. Okay, the liquid is running down, and I think I really like the result. It only remains to improve the measure and fluid quality. So we are going to use a medium resolution instead of a low one, but pay attention to the following. If we select a medium resolution and then start the animation, we'll see that the liquid is grainier it has more holes. So increase the radius to nine and also the smooth. See what happens. The liquid surface is smoother now. The thinning parameters is also relevant since it lets us create this sort of lines, like a crest. Let's blow it up to exaggerate the effect. Okay, can you see now the crests? I'm going to set the thinning to 0 0.4 and the relaxed parameter to 0 0.5. Guys, be careful since these parameters will slow down the animation. Therefore, I'm going to reduce them considerably because I don't want it to be slowed down. Go to Fluid, keep the default parameters, and only modify the tamping one, which is related to the viscosity. The more viscosity, the thicker will be the liquid. If we lower the tamping, we would slow down the simulation as well. So it would be better to keep the default value, although you can play around to check what happens. Okay, the settings are ready, and now we're going to cache a simulation to see the result. But here there is a problem, because the liquid goes through the object and the measure is infinite, so the liquid spreads all over the scene. So we need to correct it. Uh, click on on a scene and remove the cache simulation. Then go to the demon noise field and we can either reduce the strength or go to the file off tab and select a box shape in order to insert a box like that. Okay, let's cache a simulation again. Great. The simulation looks great now. 
at least on the surface, it runs down perfectly. The only problem is that it still goes through the stirs. This happens because we need to make some adjustments, like uh, the collider and the volume. And how can we solve this? Well, go to volume and blow it up to 7. This way we prevent the liquid from going through the, the object. See? Well, I think our, our animation looks pretty cool now, so we can generate the video. Right, it's really cool. Go to the edit render settings and a window pop-ups. There you can adjust some parameters. Make sure it's not too big since it will take ages. We can save it as a BMP or as a AVI movie. Apart from this, there are other parameters that you can adjust, like selecting an ambient occlusion effect or global illumination which will improve the animation, but again, it will slow down the rendering process. Well, guys, this exercise is over, but before moving on to the next one, I'm going to show you the final results. Okay. So here we have the stirs, and, and you'll see how the liquid runs down the stirs, colliding with the different obstacles. In this exercise, we managed to make the liquid collide with the obstacles in a realistic way. And here in the middle, the liquid flows between the obstacles. In addition, thanks to the K-volume option, the liquid doesn't spread all over the scene and flows within the limits we established. Finally, I added specific tone for the liquid but you can use any other material, depending on the effect you want to get. Well, this is the end of this lesson, and see you in the next one, where we are going to do another exercise, okay? See you there!